Ross Kluver here with CCMMagazine.com, and in the CCM Cafe today, we have a new artist, Kate Stanford. Hello. Hello. So excited to be here. Great. Is this your first time in Nashville? No. No? All right. (laughs) Multiple times. (laughs) Well, Kate is a new artist, as I said, and she has an EP that is going to be coming out April 5th. The first song from that EP released today called Bloom. Tell us a little bit about that song. So, originally, the song was written by Cindy Morgan. Um, She's one of my biggest role models in the CCM world. I think that she's a great songwriter and a great artist, and I just believe in everything that she has worked on. Uh, I would say my own artistic interpretation of the song Bloom is I kind of relate it to my own coming of age. It's a coming of age song about finding yourself and kind of blooming through your own faith and finding your own interpretation of your faith and just kind of letting that shine through and your passions and, you know, what you want to stand for throughout your life. Okay, awesome. Now that song, CCM is going to have the exclusive video for that next week. Yes. All right, great. So look for that. Mm -hmm. Um, Also, you have a song that is going to be on the Louis Plow movie. Yes. And that song is called I'm a Believer. I'm a Believer, yes. Now, did you write that song? I actually did not. I worked with Ted T to produce that song, and that was actually the first song that I've ever produced in my entire music career. Okay. So um, I think that's what holds a special place in my heart, and it's just a very uplifting yet powerful song about standing strong in your faith and believing in what you want to believe in. What was that experience like? Was that the first song you actually recorded? That was the first song I've ever recorded. So uh, my parents and I, we showed up to Ted's house and I walked in and it was definitely like a pleasant surprise because I thought that it was going to be, you know, like a really intense experience, you know, run through the song uh, like once and then, you know, keep going. It wasn't like that. Ted just made me feel so at ease and so comfortable and so comfortable to take my own artistic interpretation of his song. Awesome. So that song, I'm a Believer, is in the closing credits of Plow the Movie, which releases April 5th. That is also when your EP titled Bloom releases. Yes. So how many songs are on the EP? Four. All right, great. Yes. And then um, you're going to be going out and performing anywhere with these songs? You're going to be on a tour or just playing your own shows or what's in the works? We'll have to wait and see. Okay. We're not sure right now. All right. The future holds a lot. (laughs) Do you have a favorite of the four songs? Well, I would say Bloom is definitely my favorite. I love everything that it stands for, but I actually recorded yesterday my newest song called Undivided, which will also be on the EP, and I wrote that, I co-wrote that song with The Infinite's Music, and I absolutely love that song. It's the first song that I've ever had the privilege of writing. So I hear that you're from New Orleans. Baton or Rouge. near Baton Rouge, yes. pretty close. All right, <laughs> pretty close. Yeah. So I'm sure, being a new artist, the fans would like to know a little bit more about you. So whatever you want to share, just yeah, about kind of okay. where you come from and how you got into music and. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I've been singing for most of my life since I was six years old. I'm actually a classically trained artist, so I didn't really get into CCM until just recently, and I actually did have some hesitations in doing this because I thought that you know my classical background wouldn't be enough to kind of get me through and have that artistic breakthrough, but I can like confidently say that through recording my newest songs that I want to continue in this journey and just to continue my artistry and continue to improve as an artist and a person. Um, so yeah, I love classical music. I still have a love for that and I love um, contemporary Christian music, just two different art forms. Um, I'm actually still in high school. I'm a senior in, in high right. school. Awesome. I'm 17. Uh, I still do all of the high school things on top of my music career, which is like a lot at this point, but um, I love it. I think I love being busy. Um, next year, I plan on going to college as well as continuing with my music career, and okay. I want to uh, double major in vocal performance and political science. Okay. So you said you're classically trained. Is that in voice? Is that in voice, piano? Okay. yes. Do you play any instruments? I, I dabble at the piano. I can <laughs> I could pick out my notes, but I'm definitely not playing any Mozart or anything okay. like that. <laughs> so I n- normally ask for an, a musical influence. I'm going to ask you for two. Um, give me your favorite classical influence, and then your mm-hmm. favorite, obviously, I don't know if it's, Cindy's off, because you've already mentioned that. Yes. So what's your other favorite, uh, just like pop music or okay. whatever yeah. influence? So for classical, I love the Baroque era style of music. I sing a lot of things uh, that Henry Purcell has conducted, and I just love the um, 
the brightness of the tone that you want to sing in Baroque, and I love the um, just the crispness of the music. And then, actually, I don't know, this isn't really a too well-known band, but I'm really influenced with the uh, indie Christian band I Am They. Okay. Um, I just love their kind of indie tone, and it's not necessarily a really, like, pop CC, um, CCM feel. It's more of a kind of spiritual kind of... Uh, pieces they produce. Okay, awesome. I am they. What other, like, any mainstream artists that you've been listening to, or what, what's your favorite playlist, like on Spotify? Or I really enjoy For King and Country's okay. um, music. I think that they're they're great. I love their platform. I think that they their music is just very clean. I love that about them. All right, well, thank you for being with us today. No, and once you. again, the EP is called Bloom. It is available April 5th, and the Luis, Luis Palau movie is going to be in theaters nationwide on the 4th and the 6th of April. So look for all that stuff coming your way on ccmmagazine.com.